Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to propagate or make a smaller plant from a bigger plant. And we are going to talk about the items you'll need to gather. You'll need a pot, alcohol swab, rooting compound, scissors, a trowel, and the plant you're going to propagate. Gloves are optional. The first step is to choose your plant. Let's discuss a little about the anatomy of a plant and where you'll need to cut in order to propagate. Underneath my thumb right there is a node and you can see the little bumps. Those are things that turn into roots. This is a pothos and it has the same situation. So when you're propagating, you wanna cut in between those nodes and make sure they're covered so that the roots can grow out. This is the plant we'll be propagating today and I'm just pointing out some of the nodes on this plant that you would need to cut underneath or above. Step two is to sterilize your equipment. I use alcohol pads or alcohol swabs, but you can always use rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball. You're gonna take your sharp scissors and rub the alcohol along the blades, especially to make sure they're sterile. And we do this so that the plant doesn't get any infections when we cut them. Step three is preparing to cut the plant, snip, snip. Today we'll be propagating a syngonium or an arrowhead plant. This one has a little bit of a straggler off to the side and that's what we're going to be making into a new plant. So I make sure the leaves are out of the way. Take my scissors and go between a node. I'm just pointing out where the nodes are. So I'm gonna cut right here and there's a node above where I cut where the roots will come out. Rooting compound is step four. You're going to grab a rooting compound, or if you don't have one and you're a DIYer, you can take dried eggshells and put them in a pro food processor or blender and blend them into a powder. Or you can go out and buy a rooting compound or rooting powder, which is just food for your plant so that it roots a little bit easier. I like to put it into a surface that is easy for the plant to roll around in. You're going to take the cut area of the plant and dab it into the powder. Make sure you cover where the roots are so that it can eat up all that delicious rooting compound. Step five is prepping the pot or preparing a little house for our plant to live in. I like to choose pots that have drainage or holes in the bottom so that water doesn't stay in the bottom and stagnate. You're gonna take your trowel and put dirt into the pot. Step six is planting your plant. So you're going to take your pot filled with dirt and your finger and you're just going to make a hole. This is the easiest way for me since the stem is very thin and you just pop it in there. I needed to move to the table so that I could pa lightly pack the dirt around the stem of the plant so that it is secure. And that's it, you have your beautiful new plant. This is a friendly reminder just to give your new family member light and water. Have fun with everything. Thank you for watching. Bye!